Local leaders call it a public health crisis. The opioid epidemic has hit the area hard. And today, the city of Pittsburgh and Allegheny County filed a lawsuit in an effort to go after those they say are responsible. Investigator Marty Griffin has the details. It was late last year, downtown Pittsburgh, on the street in front of a hotel. A young woman overdosed. A friend who didn't want to appear on camera tried to save her. Attempted to give her uh, rescue breathing until the paramedics could get here. Paramedics arrived, used Narcan, saved her life. She walked away. The experts say most heroin addicts start with opioids. The attorneys here say it's time to go after the opioid manufacturers. Today, Allegheny County and Pittsburgh went after those companies who they say have cost the county and the city millions. Allegheny County solicitor Andy Zeffi. Things like from our jail to our Department of Human Services, EMS, 911, medical examiner's offices, all those places expend money as a result of uh, the abuse of these drugs and the overdoses from these drugs. The city and county sued eight pharmaceutical companies, the biggest in the opioid business. They both also brought in outside, out-of-state counsel with experience in tobacco lawsuits to take on those companies. We'd like to be recouped for the taxpayer dollars that have been expended, number one. And like I said, we'd also like to have a hand in changing the way they do business so that we don't have this continued flood of prescriptions for, for diseases and ailments that don't really call for opioid prescriptions at all. The number of opioid deaths staggering. More than 3,500 opioid-related deaths here since 2008. The county and city hope the litigation sends a message. We haven't seen anything like this crisis here. A significant number of other states, including West Virginia, have filed similar litigation. Marty Griffin, KDKA TV News.